What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the old light flashlight. This is the Arcfield Pro. A lot of you guys have recommended me to try the old light, so here we are today. This video is for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at it and checking out all the functions and features out and letting you guys know exactly what I think. So let's do it. All right, guys, it's no secret I am a flashlight junkie. I absolutely love lights. Um, the older I get, the more I depend on lights, and a quality flashlight is a must for me for the house, the truck, the shop, pretty much everywhere I depend on lights. And you guys recommended that I try out some of the Olight products since I'm a huge fan of the Streamlights and some of the other brands that's out on the market. So today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Olight Arcfield Pro and giving you a full rundown of the features and functions of this light, and also letting you guys know kind of what I think about it. So we'll start out with the light itself. As you can see, it's a full aluminum light. It does have a belt clip slash hat clip on it. If you notice here on the hat clip, it does have the backwards bend, so you can apply it to the bill of your hat to use for hands-free, and it's also got a pocket clip to attach it to your pocket. Very sturdy pocket clip. I do appreciate the fact that it's not a cheap, flimsy one. Very well made pocket clip. Um, it's a super simple design. I like the fact that they have a switch so you don't have to go through a lot of different modes on this light. It's really nice. I'll cover all the lumens in this light um, as we go through everything. Um, the packaging is pretty straightforward and simple. Gives you all the information on the back about the run times, the lumens, all of that good stuff. Um, there will be a link in the description for this light and that way you guys can check it out. And also a discount code where you can receive a little bit of money back uh, and save a little bit on this light. So um, it's pretty cool when you go to order it, they do give you two options. You can have a cool light or a more neutral light that they call it, which would be a warmer light. I like the cool temperature light, it just seems to provide a better light source in my opinion for looking at stuff, but they do have that option for you guys that want a little bit warmer light. Um, like I say, it's pretty straightforward to work. Uh, you flip it over here with a switch that goes back and forth to the flashlight mode. You push it on and hold it, and it starts out at a very dim, um, they call it like a twilight moonlight mode push and hold it goes to medium and high and it cycles back through it. So it's low, medium, high, back to low again. So when you press and hold it, it will come on and it starts out at low, which is 15 lumens. The next is medium, which is 100 lumens. High is 420 lumens. And then to get to turbo, which is 1300 lumens, you double click it and it goes to turbo mode. Um, you double click it and it goes back again on low. Uh, it also has a SOS fe feature, so you can triple click this light and it goes to SOS mode. So it's pretty simple how you change back features and functions of the light to go through all the stages that it has. Um, it also has a green laser pointer on it when you put it to the center and press it, it does have the laser beam that you can see here. Um, what's cool about it, if you press and hold or double click the center button, it will activate the light as well as the laser. Hopefully the camera will pick that up, but um, you can dim the light down the same way you do in light functions. That way you can have both um, double click it and it goes back to the straight laser again. Single press turns it off. But this light also has a UV function, which is really cool for you guys working in a shop where you can have UV dye or implement dye into the system so you can see it. It's a simple press of the button and it comes on in the UV format. Um, it's really nice. I can see all the little 
hopefully the camera will pick it up where you can see all the little white fuzz that's on my shirt. But the UV functions are great application to have on this light. Um, when you turn it back to the flashlight mode, you can press and hold it for a few seconds and you'll see the little bar graph go up here. Um, there's also some features that you can use on this light to um, have a self timer on it. If, if you're wanting to do that, you press and hold it a certain amount of time and it will turn itself off in nine minutes. Do it a couple more times than it does it in three. That's something that I'm not really interested in. If you are, you can read the information on the light to do that. So after playing with the light, I do like the size of it. I like the weight of it. It's less than four ounces. Um, it has a 1500 milliamp LiPo battery, I believe is correct in here. That is correct. It is a LiPo battery. Um, there's a couple of things that I don't like about it. And this is the part of the review where I'm sure Olight's not gonna be happy, but I'm going to review the light as I see fit. I've used the light, I like it. Um, the bottom part has a specific cable that you have to use. It's a magnetic cable that has the USB on one end and this little circular magnetic design on the other. Because of that, it's kind of got its own proprietary cord. So the only way you can charge this is with this one cord. Now, I'm not a fan of being locked into a proprietary cable. Um, it kind of sucks because if you're out somewhere and you need to charge your light, the chances of somebody having an old light cable is going to be slim to none. And how many times have you guys been out on a hunting trip or a fishing trip or working out in the shop, carried the light home to use it, the battery goes dead, and you don't have a charging cable to charge it back up. Um, I like the feature that it is wireless charging, or you don't have to plug it in. It's not really wireless charging. You don't have to plug the light in. Um, that's cool, but I still prefer a USB-C charging port on it just because you don't have to worry about losing your cable or going somewhere and need to recharge your light and not having that cable. Um, one of the other things, you know, this, this is all like little picky nitpicky stuff, but it is what I think about with a light. Um, this is magnetic. So, you know, it's cool that you can stick it on your box or whatever and it'll hold itself up there. Here's a bolt. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen when you've got it something short and across it, or you get rust particles from using it, uh, little metal shavings on here. I'm not sure how it's gonna react with the charging cable. Who knows, time will tell. I don't know if it'll short the battery out. I don't know if it'll short the charger out. Who knows, we'll figure it out as we come. But that is kind of one of the negatives with it. It is going to attract metal shavings and metal debris on the bottom here when you use it with the proprietary cord. But other than that, I like everything else about the light. I like the size of it. Um, it's a good light, you know, they provide at least two hours of runtime on high, which is phenomenal. Um, the super bright mode, um, you know, that's, that's bright. So I think it's 1300 lumens. So, I mean, you can't really ask for anything more out of a pocket light than that. It's got your battery gauge on the front. Really nice light. Um, these run about 80 bucks on Olight's website. They're $79.99 and you can use the code KT10 to receive an additional 10% off. Like I say, the links will be down in the description for this light. They've got tons of different other options. Um, if you guys are looking for a pocket light, check them out. Um, in this, you know, my little nitpicky negatives may be nothing at all. It may not short out across there, I don't know. But I do know not having the ability to recharge this easily with other cords kind of sucks a little bit. But I guess if you have multiple old lights, you could have several different chargers in different places and that way you always have a way to charge it. But anyway, guys, that's my review. Check these Olights out online. If you like everything you see, pick you up one, save 10% off of that code KT10. 
Like always, thanks for watching the channel. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. And if you're not subscribed, all you have to do is click that subscribe button. We'll be doing some follow-up videos with this after we put it through its paces. Kind of let you know how I like this stuff. And uh, we'll be reviewing it against some other lights in its category. So you guys check those out. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.